welcome to the cinema, my friend. I just met up with Steven Spielberg, had to give him a couple tips on how to be a better person. He had some things wrong in his whole workflow, but I've corrected them for him. So today we talk about the mythical unicorn A7S III while you try to guess what we're filming on. And I have some insights. No, I don't. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. It is colder than a penguin's nest right now. It's not a jump cut if you move. So I feel like we got to talk about the Sony A7S III for the first time on the channel. Never mentioned it once. It's coming. We think it's coming. In June, maybe July, at least that's according to the worst of all rumor sites, Sony Alpha Rumors, who have no sources, they got no inside sources, it's all guesswork. They got one guy that like knew a guy who had sex with somebody in Sony once. One time, it was a one night stand. Here's the reality, Sony was gonna announce it April 20th alongside Canon until they got wind of it. It's like, oh, that has what? 8K 41P? So like Sony keeps doing, another camera company will announce their camera and then Sony realizes they can't beat it. And so they delay it again and again, year after year. And we're waiting, we're waiting for Sony just to catch up to three years ago video. We're waiting for 10 bit. We haven't seen it. 4K 60P, I don't really care about it, but people want it for some wedding freaks. Oh, look at the couple, they're so glorious. In slow motion, their love will last longer. They're divorced. Here's the reality. Sony's not gonna beat the R5. I thought maybe they would just because in the past they've been leading the industries, but they're not anymore. And there's no way Sony can do an 8K 30P in their tiny little body. They're too obsessed with size. They wanna do that. That's their thing. A small camera, so 8K 30P, no. 4K 60, that's a stretch. In 10 bit, forget that. If I open my jacket, I can stretch it out to here. Oh, look at thus. Thus? Did I say thus? It's not 1912. Can you see the cord? Don't, oh God. Oh, that was bad timing on that wind. What's that, Scorsese? Yes, you can borrow $10. Here. So in my opinion, until Sony embraces the fact that we have to have a larger body, at least a little bit, they're not gonna compete with today's competition. And that's so weird to say, they can't compete with Canon in the spec sheet. What the hell universe? The virus has corrupted us. I am hoping to baby flat earth Santa that Sony wakes up and gives us something to be excited about. All they have is autofocus. You can't just base your cake in an autofocus pan of life. You gotta have other things, colors, science, exposure, Actually, they're good in all those things, except color and science. You know all I want in the Sony a7S III? 10 bit, done. And a flippy screen, obviously. An IBIS that actually works with digital. That's all they really need to do. But of course, they won't let Canon get 8K past them, past their guard dogs. It ain't gonna happen, so they have to do that. I can't believe that's our race now to 8K like anybody can even use it. Why? Just give us 4K. Good 4K 10 bit. Focus on the colors and the dynamic range in that. And like usability, ND, variable, electronic, in there. Mic jack that doesn't laugh at me. They're booking. You know what I'm desperately hoping for in this April 30th announcement? is just the Sony X4000. Or an RXO with a slightly wider lens. Or an RX100. Mark 18, whatever. Why are you continuing that line? What are you gonna do in 15 years when it's the Mark 37? It's so much better than the Mark 29. That's what I want though, a little guy that I can put in my pocket. I already have a little guy in my pocket, trust me. But when I'm vlogging, I want a little quality. I bring that G9 and we're good to go on the cinematic shit and slow motion long view with that 12 to 60. I'm happy with that, but I do miss the days where I just had something in my pocket and I can pull it out and it's got audio. The GoPro, if I had the media mod, technically that would salvage my thirst for blood. But I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. And I don't want to reward GoPro 
for their mediocre lies. Oh, it's a shotgun mic when it's just a little capsule. There was a guy, I forget his name, but he investigated that whole thing, took it apart, and it's like this tiny little thing. We have enough tiny things, men. We have enough, don't we? Yeah, we do. So that's personally what I want to see, the pocketability factor cameras that you stuff in there. Other than that, just bring in 10-bit. I don't even know why I love it so much, because I never push the colors far enough for it to matter. But it's stuck in my mind that, that it's like super important and we need it as a stabilization. It's not heavy. Have you guessed the camera yet? You'll never guess it. So we'll see what Sony brings. I probably should have just waited for the press conference tomorrow, but I'm impatient. So it's the day before. I'll post this April 30th morning, and then we wait for the press conference, and then I'll make a video laughing at them for their stupid announcements that will suck. Guaranteed. No 10-bit. Watch them release Sony a7S III 4K, 60p, and APS-C crop 8-bit. That's gonna suck. My God, it's the most creative shot of our time. I can't believe it. So I will unbox this camera and some secrets tomorrow. I know that's confusing, but then you'll see it. The glory, it was a surprise and let us welcome our hearts into gratitude. What the hell? So let me know what camera you think this is. I'll be 100% transparent with you. The only reason I made this video was to test the quality of this. I just wanted to see it. Maybe that gave it away. Post your guesses down below. And what do you think Sony's gonna release? Nothing good. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.